there is a new platform called the EV Max that will allow you to live stream on multiple platforms including YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn and many more even custom RTMP in full HD. In this video I'm gonna be showing you how to access EV Max and I'm gonna be showing you how to actually go live so I'm gonna show you the whole process how you go live and the good part is with the free plan you're still getting all the features including live streaming to multiple platforms, some storage for your recordings, comments overlay, and so much more. So if you wanna step it up, they have a plan that you can pay $19. So let's not take much time, let's actually get right into it. So the first thing we're gonna need to do, we're gonna go to evmax.com. What you need to do is you actually need to sign up. Okay, so for the first time, you're gonna need to sign up. But for me, I already have uh, an account with them. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna sign in, okay? Once you get in, this is what the dashboard is gonna look like. This is a web browser based platform. So if you're used to things like StreamYard, Melon app, this is gonna be uh, almost the same thing, except this one has more features, okay? You're gonna go here in the corner and hit the plus sign that will actually uh, create a new project for you. So what you're gonna do, let's go ahead and actually create a new project. If you max stream, okay you have two options here the first one is the single broadcast which is more popular this is like the easy way to go live and the other one the other option is if you want to create multiple sessions at the same time so but for this tutorial we're gonna keep it simple we're simply gonna go with the single broadcast so let's go ahead and actually go to studio this is what the studio looks like. If you're familiar with StreamYard or uh, Melon app, you probably have an idea. Uh, it has two versions uh, for the interface. Okay, so you have the dark version and you have the light version. So this is the light version. Personally, I like the dark version. So we're gonna go ahead and actually keep the uh, dark version. And as you can see, you have multiple uh, options here the first one you can see uh, you have the dynamic scenes and then you have the pro scenes now dynamic scenes when it comes to dynamic scenes it's basically just the easy way to go live be able to bring in your camera uh, be able to invite a guest just do simple stuff keep it simple and actually do your stream you know add your microphone and, and camera and actually go live now if you want to take your stream to the next level you can take advantage of the pro scenes now the pro scenes will you know give you more flexibility to design your uh, your layouts uh, create some overlays and stuff like that but for the purpose of this video today we're not gonna be talking about the pro scenes but eventually i'm gonna make another video actually about the pro scenes uh if you are someone who wants to let's say if you're coming from obs and you want to be able to use something like this where you can easily bring in guests uh, and still be able to have that flexibility of creating your own uh, overlays layouts and stuff like that so this is gonna be something to uh, actually consider for sure you can see you have the layers which is something that is not usable if you're using the dynamic scenes we have graphics um, this is where you know we can actually choose how our lower thirds are going to appear which is something we're gonna be doing in a minute and then we have um our logo this is where you can upload your logo again this is not gonna be useful because we are using the free plan from ev max and we have our overlays this is where you can actually upload an overlay if you have an overlay that you want to use if you're coming from obs you probably understand and we have a video clips this is where you can upload a video let's say if you have an intro video and we have a background this is where you can upload a background if you need a background for your show okay and this is something you're gonna be trying as well and then on this side you have the banners uh this is you know we're gonna do it actually so i'm gonna show you how it works we have socials this is where comments are going to appear and then we have chat this is where you can actually chat with your guests if you have your a guest on the stream and you wanna be you know kind of talking to them backstage they say you're playing an intro video you can actually be able to chat with them 
now okay so let's go ahead and actually do our first step so now if you look here you can see you have all the settings and layouts you have an option to mute your microphone stop your camera or hide your camera uh, this these are your settings for adding your camera and mic uh, share screen and a local video to play a local video you can still play a local video uh, from here as well and what we're gonna do as you can see i already have my camera because i used it last time okay but we're going to pretend that i didn't have any camera so what you do you go here to cam mic settings and you choose uh your camera your video input so for now i have actually uh multiple cameras connected so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna go choose the black magic design which is my uh atm mini okay and that's where my main camera is connected for now and uh for audio we're gonna go ahead and actually choose line audio which is my microphone that i'm using right now as well and as you can see as i'm talking through the microphone you guys can see the signal okay now you have a few options here too you have the echo cancellation you have the noise uh, suppression personally i leave the echo cancellation and never i don't use it but if you're in a, in a place where you think you may be having some echoes you're probably gonna use this if you have some noise in the background as well you probably want to use the noise suppression uh, and as you can see as soon as you choose your camera is going to appear here in the corner and you got the signal now it's not live uh, so basically what you're gonna do to have it on the screen you're gonna have to add to stream just like this and as you can see now i should be uh, i'm getting the image right now okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here to uh graphics and what we're gonna do the first thing let's go to branded graphics you guys can see that i have this lower third uh, that keeps actually showing up here okay so i can change to different settings guess what let's let's use this one pick this one and uh the next thing is you have an option to change colors so let's say if i want to use this color to kind of match my branding and they can they show you actually an example of your lower third what it's gonna look like again you can turn it off here if you don't need the lower third to show but let's actually keep it let's you know change the lower third to this style or we can even go ahead and actually pick from uh, other options that they have in here uh, you can choose where to position it so let's say if i want to position it here and do you can see this is my main color the second color uh, is white and the size i can make it a little bigger uh, and then you can see here it says repeat every every eight seconds so for me let me say maybe repeat every 60 seconds okay instead of every eight seconds i feel like it's too much it's kind of distracting uh and then it says hide after five seconds so it's gonna stay for five seconds let's say maybe stays for 10 seconds that will make more sense that's pretty much it now you can go here and actually go to change type i know this is a little advanced but as you can see you have so many cool options here and they all look very very professional so for my show let me go with this one maybe let's go with this one yeah something like this okay so as you guys can see it's actually showing up right now okay so this is what it looks like and you guys can see it really looks good and very professional so we're going to create a banner as you can see if you go here we can create say a primary text let's say this is um, a test banner uh, we can have a secondary text if we want secondary text now if you want to make it a ban a ticker we can just click this or uh, choose a ticker here and what's gonna do is going to actually uh, be showing uh, down below here so let's go ahead and actually click show so you guys can see that it's actually showing as a banner okay now if you don't want it to show as a banner we can go ahead as a ticker sorry we can go ahead and actually unselect a ticker and uh, say update 
and this thing is click show and as you can see this is how it shows so let's say if you're talking and you want to show some information on the screen you can actually use it this way okay and obvious you can have multiple graphics or multiple banners they don't have to be the same so this is like a sample banner that you have so you can use you know have different messages if it's a topic you're doing a presentation on your stream you can actually build your presentation within ev max and this is gonna be awesome so the next thing is actually gonna be your social so basically once you go live you're gonna be getting all the comments so it could be comments coming from facebook youtube and if you want to highlight those comments on screen they are going to actually be showing like this and obviously the next one the last one is the chat so what we're gonna do we are going to actually invite a guest and i'm going to show you how it's easy to actually invite someone so what you, you do you go here and click invite a guest and uh, it's going to give you a link and you, what you're going to do is you want to copy the link and you're going to email that link to the guest okay let's assume i'm actually another guest i'm going to send myself the link when the guest receive the link it's going to look like this okay now it's going to ask them to enter their name so and they have option to choose the microphone and the camera uh, let's go ahead and actually choose the camera so i have my capture card connected to my camera so this is gonna be a second input so assuming i was a guest and then for the microphone i'm gonna go ahead and actually choose the toner microphone which is another microphone that i have connected on my computer and they have options for echo cancellation noise suppression that's pretty much it once they are ready they can now join the broadcast okay let's wait there we go so this is what the guest is going to actually see as you can see this is me on the other side so they are seeing the image from ev max and um they you can see they have the backstage kind of communication so they can communicate with the host and you can see the host is sam here and then this is like the guest and then you can see participants here if they say if we had multiple participants you see them here and then you see uh the live feed here so right now there's no live feed but they are able to see the live feed as well if we were going to be live uh, and you can see they have an option to chat okay so this is where they can chat with the group or with host okay and then we have the social and as you can see when you click the social say here will appear all the comments from social uh, media that producer present on the live so as i present all the comments on the live stream they are going to actually be able to see them here which is pretty awesome this is what the guest interface looks like and you can see that it's actually pretty awesome we are going back to our av max studio and as you can see as a guest i'm actually in the studio here okay and what i'm gonna do i'm going to add myself as a guest and then boom so this is what it will look like you can see I have sam and have sam guest as you can see i can i can change multiple to multiple layouts uh let's go to this one let's go to that one let's go to that one i can also choose who goes up and who goes down or we can have this type of layout you know but for two guests mostly the layout is gonna be like this and boom this is what it will look like with two people actually on the screen now the next thing is we could actually uh share our screen so i can go ahead and share screen uh so let's go ahead and actually share something uh because because let me go actually go ahead and choose a different screen so this is my fourth screen and as you can see i can decide to share the screen and have it actually here all right so now i can choose a different layout something like that will look like this so i have the uh maybe not this one so maybe something like this so i have me and the guest showing in the screen and obviously i can choose a different lay layout something that will look like this or that will look like that okay we are going to actually add a background because as you can see uh you know if i have two people like let's say let me remove hide my screen you can see that 
the background is kind of empty it's blank it's kind of black so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go here to graphics and then i'm gonna go to backgrounds and i'm gonna go ahead and look for uh one of my backgrounds uh maybe something like this all right so this is just a simple image normal image again you can go ahead and be creative so and choose something that you want to create something that looks even better but this is just a simple image to show you uh that you could actually come up with the background something that will look like this and you know as switch as you switch between layouts you see that it's gonna look really really good right so now it's not just an empty kind of black screen i can choose to share my screen as well and as you can see it looks really really nice so let's go ahead and actually add my guest back to uh, add myself back to the stream and what i'm gonna do is once you have everything ready you have your overlays you have your guests you can actually go ahead and add uh, channels okay so basically adding channels that's where you're going to be able to live stream so what we're gonna do is you can can go here so uh, for me personally, I have a YouTube channel, I have a Facebook uh, um, group and a Facebook page. You have LinkedIn, Twitch and custom RTMP. So I can go ahead and actually it's going to ask me to sign in, follow the instructions, sign in with your YouTube channel and it's going to allow you to connect. And right now I'm connected. My channel is connected. OK, and I can select the channel and once you have it selected you can select if you want to go public right here you can choose if you want to go public unlisted or private i'm assuming you're going to be using it you know to live stream publicly but for the purpose of this video i can just click unlisted because i don't want to go live on my youtube channel right now and i can go and say name it test live stream And then you can have your description here you can also schedule it for later which is awesome this is something i'll actually um, advise you to do because this is gonna allow you to go back in youtube in your back end kind of studio and actually be able to customize add thumbnails more descriptions because there you have more options and then you can come back here in ev max actually and be able to go live and the next thing we are going to do we are going to add a new destination let's go to facebook but as you can see it's asking me if i want to go to facebook page if i want to live stream to a facebook page facebook group or my personal profile so i can go ahead and actually click facebook page and it's going to actually ask me to log in all right and then it's gonna ask you to which page you want to live stream on so i'm gonna go ahead and actually click live uh, live production tips and tools this is the page okay and as you can see you still have options to schedule it for later and uh all the juicy stuff you can add your title so it could be uh taste live stream now you can go ahead and actually add another destination so for this time it could be a facebook group or something or you could do a custom rtmp and then you can go get your server depending on where you're trying to stream and your stream key and actually be able to you know add it as a custom rtmp all right so don't forget to add some description otherwise won't let you actually add the channels so now once we are ready as you can see i have my youtube channel i have my facebook page ready to go live and what i could do i'll just click go live it's gonna ask you if you want to record okay so if you want to record you're gonna keep this one selected and what it's gonna do is gonna keep your show uh, recorded and then after the show you can go ahead and actually uh, download it which is awesome i've actually tried it before and it works really really well so what you need to do is basically click start and as soon as you click start it's gonna start recording and live streaming at the same time guys this is pretty much the overview how you can simply go live with ev max stream to multiple destinations so if you have questions or comments let me know other than that Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you on my next one. Take care.